Hi, I'm Alex Wortman, Entrust Software Test Engineer. Today I'm excited to demo the integration of CyberArk Privileged Access Security, Enterprise Password Vault, and the Entrust EnShield Hardware Security Module, or HSM, deployed on-premises. Although this integration is performed with the Entrust EnShield on-premises, the integration process is the same when using Entrust EnShield as a service. To prepare for the integration of CyberArk PAS Enterprise Password Vault and the EnShield software, I performed the installation using the following recommended products and versions. It is recommended that you follow the Entrust CyberArk PAS Enterprise Password Vault EnShield HSM integration guide to complete the integration. The guide is located on entrust.com forward slash documentation. Before starting the integration, ensure you have met all of these prerequisites. Check the Entrust CyberArk PAS Enterprise Password Vault EnShield HSM integration guide for a detailed description of product configurations and prerequisites to this integration. In addition, familiarize yourself with the EnShield HSM installation and user guides, as well as CyberArk documentation for installing privileged access security. The first step after installing and configuring the Entrust HSM and Security Vault software on the Vault server is to set up connectivity between the Vault server and HSM. The Vault server needs to be shut down during this process. Next, from the Vault server, navigate to the nfast home directory and edit the ckNFastRC file. For this demo, we will use OCS protected keys with a K of N quorum of one of two with load sharing between multiple HSNs enabled. Next, navigate to this directory and edit the dbparm.ini file. Add the following non-standard firewall addresses directives for each HSN that needs to communicate with the vault server. At the end of dbparm.ini, create a new section called HSM and add the PKCS11 provider path for the Entrust EnShield HSM. For Security World versions of 1260 and later, add the following line. Save and close dbparm.ini and finished. Open the private Arc server application and start the vault server. You should see these lines indicating the new firewall rules were processed. Shut down the vault server when finished. The next step is to configure the vault for OCS protected keys. If you are using module protected keys, you still need to perform these steps because an operator card is needed to provide FIPS authorization to the HSM to generate a key. On the vault server, open an administrator command prompt in this directory. Run the following command to store the encrypted OCS passphrase in dbparm.ini. Then open dbparm.ini and verify the encrypted passphrase was added in the HSM section. Now we are ready to either generate a new Vault server key on the Entrust EnShield HSM or load an existing software key if desired. Note that Entrust EnShield HSMs configured with FIPS 140-2 Level 3 Security Worlds do not permit the import of existing keys. For enhanced security, Entrust recommends using keys created and protected by the EnShield HSM. With an OCS inserted into an available HSM slot, run the following command to generate a new server key on the HSM. Note the key ID at the end of the command output. Check the new key with the following command. Verify the key is called CyberArk Server Key, and since we used OCS protection, the key is listed under Keys Protected by Card Sets. Before we direct the vault server to use the newly generated key on the HSM, open dbparm.ini and edit the recovery private key line to point to the new master key. With an OCS card inserted into an available HSM slot from an administrator command prompt, run the following command. Modify the paths as needed. At the end of the command, 
put the key ID from the output of the command that generated the key on the HSM. Before starting the Vault server, we need to modify dbparm.ini to look for the new key on the HSM. Open dbparm.ini and edit the server key line. Change it to the key ID for the generated key. We are now ready to start the Vault server. With an OCS card inserted into an available HSM slot, open the Private Arc server application and ensure the server starts with no errors in the output. We can verify the server requested its private key from the HSM to start by opening Windows Event Viewer and navigating to Windows Logs Application. From time to time, it is good security practice to rotate the Vault Server key on the HSM. Perform the following steps to generate a new key on the HSM. This concludes the CyberArk Privileged Access Security Enterprise Password Vault integration demo with Entrust and Shield HSMs. Be sure to check entrust.com forward slash documentation for the latest integrations available from Entrust. Have a great day and thank you for watching.